Ashley Guillory is a mother of three who disappeared nearly two weeks ago. Human remains are found in the search for a missing mother of three. Houston police confirmed those remains belong to Ashley Guillory. All I want is my wife back in my arms. I won't rest until she gets back in my arms. I will not rest. A husband overcome with emotion as he desperately wants answers about what happened to his wife. Ashley Guillory is a mother of three who disappeared nearly two weeks ago. Volunteers with Texas EquiSearch spent today looking for clues at a park in Missouri City. They're telling our Matt Doherty they'll be back at it first thing tomorrow morning. Search crews will return here to Missouri City tomorrow morning to continue looking for clues. They told me today they're confident that Ashley is out here somewhere. Texas EquiSearch says this 37 year old mother of three has been missing for more than a week. Right now, uh, it appears as though foul play has been involved. Search efforts that were hindered by the storm have been stepped up ahead of tomorrow. She's amazing. She's amazing. <laughs> I bet that tomorrow. Ashley Guillory's husband, Curtis, says the last time he heard from his wife was almost two weeks ago when Ashley told him she was running errands at about 10 o'clock in the morning. He contacted police, EquiSearch, and the search group Texas United Coalition for help locating his missing wife when she didn't return. Individuals like myself would like to help as much as we can. Albert Flores was tracking Ashley's car and took this video of the moment police arrested the person behind the wheel on Monday. Texas EquiSearch says police have a suspect in custody on unrelated charges. Our calls to police today have not been returned. But tonight, all Curtis wants is for his wife to be found before her birthday passes. So all I want is my wife back in my arms. <laughs> I won't rest until she gets back in my arm. I will not rest. I won't. I can't. I spoke to Ashley Guillory's husband, Curtis, and he told me that today is her 38th birthday. They had plans to go to the casino together, but obviously that's not happening. Very, very unfortunate. He was very emotional about that. EquiSearch founder Tim Miller told me they are going to do everything. Uh, he told her husband they're going to do everything that they can to bring her home to him or bring some sort of closure to this case on her birthday. But as of now, that has not happened. Curtis Guillory pulled this photo of him and his wife out of his wallet to show me. It's his favorite of the two of them together. What's going on with my wife right now? She waiting for me to come get her. She waiting for me to come. She know I'm coming. She waiting for me to come get her, rescue her. She know I won't stop until I get her back in my arms. The last time he saw his wife Ashley was on the morning of Saturday, September 4th, before he went to work. He says she was planning to run errands that day. About quarter to eight, I kissed her and told her I'll be back when I finish my job. Had he known that would be the last time he would see the woman he's known for more than 20 years and been married to for almost three. If that's the case, I wouldn't have did my job. I'd have stayed here with my wife. EquiSearch has been scouring Independence Park in Missouri City for two days. They say information led them here. They've searched thousands of acres, according to EquiSearch founder Tim Miller, working alongside Houston Police Homicide, who is now over the case. But all he says they've come up with is where the wife and mother is not. I anticipate we're going to be going again tomorrow. We're, we can't disclose that area just yet where we're going to be. Some new information came in. I feel as though it's credible information, so I'm be meeting with Homicide. We just got off the phone with him, in fact, meeting with him and get a game plan and get the mapping uh, plan for tomorrow. Ashley's husband Curtis is devastated. He tells me he knows in his heart that someone knows where Ashley right is. Right now a search is underway for a missing mother of three. Ashley Guillory was last seen in Houston Saturday, September 4th. This is video of Texas EquiSearch volunteers looking for her this morning at Independence Park in Missouri City. The big question at this hour, where is she? Let's get to Sherman Chow, who's live at that park. Sherman, any leads for police or EquiSearch? Uh, yes, and I'll tell you that Ashley's husband uh, tells me that he immediately suspected a longtime friend, uh, especially after acquaintances say that friend breaks down crying now every time he passes this park. 
37-year-old Ashley Guillory, mother of three children, 10 and under, has been missing since September 4th. Ashley's husband, Curtis Guillory, quickly suspected a friend of 10 plus years who may have wanted Ashley's disability money, which had just come in. Curtis asked for help on social media and approached search groups like Equisearch and Texas United Coalition's Albert Flores. Curtis and Albert were searching for that friend and Ashley's missing car in Stafford when a tipster notified police about both at a store. Albert shot this video from September 12th. We happened to drive up right at the same moment that uh, the police were driving in there. So that's the car I've been looking for. Paper plates, 2004 Toyota Camry. Uh, Dent on the side. He took the sticker off. He took the sticker off uh, of the window. And uh, so I got uh, investigator Sean with Houston Homicide. They, they on the way. So, uh, either way, we got them blocked in and staff and police come out here and we're going to let them do their job. Uh, hopefully, he can tell us where Ashley's at and uh, find out what's going on. Yeah, I showed him this report. You see my car now? My yeah, VIN number? Yeah, everything matches, bro. my motherfucking car. Hey, but they got Houston Homicide coming right now. They got. Somebody better come quick. They coming, brother. They come. Him. Him yeah, that's the husband, Curtis, man. He's, he's, he's upset, man. I would be upset too with my wife. I wouldn't give up. I wouldn't give up at all. So, um, we here. All right. I'll update y'all a little bit after what's going on and shit. So, uh, we got our man. Albert Flores, I mean, just. I mean, like a guardian angel. He's an angel sent to me. That's all it was. Like a private investigator. We both was. We have, of course, contacted the Houston Police Department and Stafford Police for information, for, you know, updates on this case. We have yet to hear back. We should tell you also that tomorrow is Ashley's birthday. She turns 38. Back to you. Obviously, we're all hoping Ashley Guillory will be found soon. Thank you so much for now. Missing mother mystery crews searching for any clues that could lead to missing 37 year old Ashley Guillory. She went missing two weeks ago and her family is desperate for answers, though they fear the worst. Texas Equisearch and family members combed the area near Independence Park on Court Road in Stafford for several hours today. And that's where we find KPRC 2's Jonathan Martinez. Jonathan. Yeah, Keith, that if you take a look behind me, you can see search crews have packed up all of their equipment for the day. They're telling us that they've exhausted their efforts, at least in this particular area, but their search efforts are far from over. Of course, this particular day does have special meaning for Guillory's family, as it is her birthday. On what otherwise would be a happy occasion and birthday celebration for Ashley Guillory and her family, instead, crews with Texas Equisearch were back out Friday looking for her, the mother of three now missing for nearly two weeks. We have decided not, you know, to try not to be sad today because we know how excited she gets for a birthday. Certainly appears as though foul play is involved. We're 12 days out, so time's not on our side. Tim Miller with Texas Equisearch says based off of new information to homicide detectives, they've wrapped up the search efforts where they've been focusing the last two days near Independence Park in Missouri City. I appreciate everything that everybody is doing in efforts to find her. I think some new information we got is uh, hopefully going to lead us in some other areas and and uh, search is far from being over with. Miller says they now plan to regroup with detectives and continue their search on Saturday at another location. Certainly hoping we could be part of bringing her home or somehow or another she was located today. As of now, that's not happened. At the end of the day, it's just not fair. Whatever it is that has taken place, I mean, she deserves to be at home. We start with that search for a missing Houston mother of three that disappeared three weeks ago. And today, volunteers with Texas EquiSearch were back looking for Ashley Guillory. Anneli Ruiz leads us off tonight. Search crews were hard at work early Saturday morning on the southwest side of Harris County. They're looking for anything that would lead them to 38-year-old Ashley Guillory. We've been searching for Ashley now for the last 
two plus weeks. Her husband told us he last heard from Ashley on September 4th when she was out running errands at around 10 a.m. that morning. He contacted police when his wife didn't come home and the Texas United Coalition tracked her car and took this video the moment police arrested the person behind the wheel a few weeks ago. Texas EquiSearch says police have a suspect in custody. We certainly suspected foul play in the very beginning. They do have a person in custody on unrelated charges. We was kind of hoping that this person would just go ahead and break and say where to go. But Miller says some new information from investigators led them to this brushy area today near Fondren and South Main. Drone 11 shows you what crews were dealing with. The brush was so thick you can't even spot the volunteers searching. Unfortunately, they came out empty handed. We know where she's not. I think we know where she was very possibly because of the investigation. So family members tell us they hope to find her soon. See her three young kids don't know anything and they keep asking for their mom. Tim Miller says he'll do everything he can. Our whole goal is to go ahead and get her located. Time's not on our side. We know she disappeared uh, on the 4th. Uh, you know, we, we know we had tropical storm that came in after that. So we're hoping that's, uh, hoping that's not a reason that we've not gotten her located yet. Texas EquiSearch volunteers will be back tomorrow searching areas nearby. Human remains are found in the search for a missing mother of three. Houston police confirmed those remains belong to Ashley Guillory in Fort Bend County. Guillory was last seen back on September 4th in Houston. Investigators are now telling us she was killed the very next day in a motel room on Fondren. Jason Miles joins us live. Jason, a person that Guillory's husband actually calls a good friend is now charged with murder. Yeah, what a good friend, Lynn. Uh, volunteers, you know, were out as recently as last weekend searching for Ashley Guillory in Fort Bend County. I'm told the suspect is who finally led police to her remains. Nearly a month after his wife disappeared. The most amazing person that God put on this earth. Simple as that. Curtis Guillory says he will finally have 37-year-old Ashley Guillory back home. I told everybody I wasn't stopping till I get her back, and I wasn't. After weeks of exhaustive searches in wooded areas in Houston and Missouri City, Houston police announced this morning that remains believed to be those of Ashley Guillory were located last night in Fort Bend County. Their location revealed by 48-year-old Willie Brown, who's now charged with her murder. Got him here in the car, so. Brown was initially arrested in mid-September on unrelated charges after getting pulled over in Guillory's car. This is video of that arrest in Stafford. What would you say to him right now? I ain't gonna say nothing. All I gotta do is look at him, because he know you're wrong. Police believe Guillory was killed inside a room at the Fondren Inn the morning of September 5th. Although details of how she may have died have not been released, Guillory says he last heard from his wife the night before. She was on her way to get her hair done with Brown and carrying cash for rent and other expenses. Never thought he would do nothing like this. Never thought he would hurt harm up. And Ashley Guillory last worked for a care home here in the Atascacita area. This is where her husband wanted to meet us today. He came to collect her final paycheck. Back to you. Well, it's rough to watch her husband having to deal with charge this. has been filed three weeks after a wife and mother disappeared. The husband tells KPRC 2 the suspect was found driving Ashley Guillory's car days after she was last seen alive. The husband begged the suspect for answers. Police say those answers finally came late last night when the suspect led authorities to the body. KPRC 2's Devin Clark is joining us live now from Atascacita, where he spoke with the victim's husband. Devin. Lauren stricken with grief. Curtis Guillory stood out. My wife is deceased. I'm ready to lay the rest. After some 10 days of searching, Curtis Guillory got the news he had been dreadfully waiting for. I just want to thank God for giving me closure and thank all of y'all for helping me find my wife 
God bless you. The remains of Curtis's 37-year-old wife and mother of three, Ashley Guillory, were found in Fort Bend County yesterday. Investigators were led there by Willie Brown, who they say killed Ashley in a motel room on Fondren and Main Street in the early morning hours of September 5th. Curtis says Brown was his wife's best friend for more than a decade and a half. She introduced me to her, him four or five years ago when we came down here. We never thought he would hurt home up. The motive has not been released in this case, and neither has Guillory's cause of death. We know that Brown is being charged with murder. Guillory's funeral arrangements have not been set yet.